Um, I think I learned a lot about what it takes to run a company um, and keep and just the day-to-day -day stuff of, you know, like when you first manage people for the first time, and I started managing people very early in my career. I worked at a software company, and this was before the, the crash. And uh, so they were giving anybody, you know, here, you have a pulse here. Here's a nice Aaron chair in your laptop and go off and meet with clients. And so I was managing people by 25, and they don't train you to do this anywhere. They're just like, here, manage people. It'll be easy. And I think I learned a lot about managing people because managing people, shockingly, is not just like giving them stuff and then they go do the stuff and then they come back to you. There's a ton of interpersonal relationships that are involved in that. And that's, I think, part of what made me better at managing people was going through that experience of having that failure and having to let people go which is never, that's never a good time, you know, but it also taught me to be better at doing that and better at recognizing, like, what's a good fit and what isn't a good fit for myself and for the company. And you don't think you could have learned that by doing it right? I think there's things that you learn by failing, and you're like, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> that was highly unpleasant, and I don't want to go through that again. But at the same time, I think you also learn from failure that it's okay, and it's not actually the end of the world. And I mean, when I when it first happened, I was like, that's it, I'm not going to run a company again. And then I realized I'm a terrible employee. So I went and worked for another company for a year, and that was a failure. And that really is, it's too late now. I've been working on my own for too long. I'm clearly not suited to work for anyone ever again, and that I should just keep running my own thing. And uh, so that's what motivated me. And then I found I was moving to Edmonton. So then I just decided to come here and see what happened, which apparently was good things. Sometimes it's over when it's over. But most of the time, you just got to keep showing up. That's, I, I went and saw uh, an award uh, ceremony where Howie Mandel was receiving an award for some kind of great uh, achievement. And a wonderful guy, very interesting person, very inspiring person. And he said, and people say, I ask him all the time, so... How, how come you're so successful? Like, what, what do you do? And he says, I just show up. I just keep showing up. And, and no matter what happens, I just keep going. And so, you know, failure has taught me um, the necessity of perseverance, uh, the necessity of, of the show must go on. doesn't matter how much snow is falling. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, we all show up eventually. And, um, <laughs> and, and, you know, you make something happen. And you... You, you roll with the punches, and, and the joy of, of real-time stuff is that something weird's going to happen. Somebody could spill a drink in the next five minutes, you know, and, and we'd have all kinds of fun and merriment with that. Right.